It's time now to introduce our final inductee. It is the one and only Jimmy Cassidy. Cassidy's a good breeders. Yeah, Dad didn't have much television, did he? Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, obviously not, yeah. Good to see Bluey and Francie here, and uh, they live in Australia with you these days, don't they? Yeah, they shifted over um, about 12 years ago now, Des, and uh, it's beautiful to have them there. How do you feel about uh, the double whammy? Australian inducted Hall of Fame, and now New Zealand. Yeah, look, obviously uh, very honoured. Um, something I never expected when I started off, um, and as I say, I... I wouldn't be here without the support of owners and trainers throughout the years and, and family and, um, no, just very honoured, Des, very honoured. The horses that you've ridden, there's a raft of them. We can't go through the whole lot of them, 100 group ones and all, but that day on, with Zoo Star, how special was that? Because that was Melbourne Cup week and not only do you have Australians supporting it, but you've got the world watching. Yeah, look, it was very special. Um, you know, I sort of had flashbacks to, to Kiwi back in 83 on the big stage and uh, I must say... I was a lot nervous, a lot more nervous uh, trying to win on Zoo Star and the Coolmore than I was trying to win the 83 Melbourne Cup on Kiwi, I can tell you. Uh, you had to win that day to get an extra four million for the owner, so I did suffer a little bit uh, leading into the race, but um, amazing feat, um, a good team behind me, uh, obviously my wife Vicky and my daughters and um, trainers and, and obviously mum and dad, uh, if it wasn't for mum and dad I wouldn't be here today. So. Um, it's a, it's a team effort and I'm very proud of the team that I've had with me. So Kiwi was the inspiration for you to go to Australia and stay there after winning the Melbourne Cup, but wouldn't it have been easy? It's pretty cutthroat out there, isn't it? Yeah, well, it was always hard. Um, I mean, to say Kiwi opened a lot of doors and, uh, uh, you know, I have special thanks to the late uh, Snow Lupton and, and obviously Anne for their support taking me to Melbourne at that time. And um, it, when I had the opportunity to, to go and ride for Robert Sangster and Millie Fox when they set up Nebo, um, it, it was a great honour to be asked because they had a lot of Aussie jockeys to ask and uh, as, they, as we say and still say, they come to the Shaky Isles and found the pumper so they didn't go too bad, I suppose. Kiwi second, should have, uh, should have won a second Melbourne Cup. Uh, let's be frank here. Uh, things didn't go according to plan. Uh, Snowy, I know, was absolutely ropeable, the dear man, and his wife would, and everybody else surrounding. What was your take on the whole thing? Yeah, the Aussies just produced another underarm, mate. It, uh, yeah, look, it was very disappointing. I, I thought he was outstanding to win in 83 and when I seen him come back in 84, a couple of his lead-up races were outstanding and for him to... Uh, uh, for the way he was scratched was obviously disappointing. There's disappointments in racing, but for that to happen the way it did that week, uh, I, I was more gutted for Snow and, and obviously for Anne because he was prepared well and he probably really looked the winner that year. Might and power tactics to win that Caulfield Cup... You took it on your own bat, didn't you, to do what you did, spread eagle the field? Yeah, well, Jack Dennett said to me in the mountain yard before I got on him, he said, whatever you, li whatever you do, don't lead. He said, I want you three or four back the fence. <laughs> and uh, I think I had a meeting with my me manager the, the night before and we'd done the form and I thought, 52 and a half, uh, he's as fit as Jack can get him, um, go to the front, ride him to run time. And uh, I could see Jack and Nick, big Nick Moratus with his hands like this when I turned for home. If I'd have got beat, they would have wanted to throttle me. But uh, he won by six and uh, opened some more doors, mate. It was great. You've got a mate down here, Johnny Wheeler, uh, inducted in the Hall of Fame as well, and Rough Habit. Rough Habit, he was something quite special, wasn't he? Yeah, look, he, he was a remarkable horse. Um, a, a quick little story. It's funny how things happen in racing. I, I end up, when I was uh, 11 years old, going to play footy. Uh, played with a bloke called David Smith. Um, some 8 or 10, 15 years later, uh, Johnny asked me to ride Rough Habit one day at, at Brisbane and uh, there was the bloke that, when I was 11 playing football with one of the part owners. And uh, So it was, it was a great story, a, a great rider, a, a great thrill to ride a horse that was so manoeuvrable in races, uh, had a tremendous will to win and uh, had such a great horse trainer. I had more laughs with him than I did riding Ruffy, I think.